Hey, what's going on? L to the W here. Today we're going to do a video on how to pressure bleed your brake system. Uh, I just myself completed doing uh, some new caliper installs on my car. So now that I've had the system open, I'm going to have to bleed the system. But also do the age of the car and everything else, we're just going to go ahead and do a full flush and get all that old uh, brake fluid out. <laughs> now, the first thing I was going to do on the video was explain how to evacuate your old brake fluid out of your master cylinder. And in the process of filming that, the tube fell down here into my master cylinder reservoir and if you could see how tight that is so <laughs> that ended up being a whole other project of having to remove my master cylinder to get the tube out so unfortunately you know that is what it is when you're working on cars sometimes things happen you don't plan on but I'm going to go ahead and get that installed and we'll get to uh, showing you how to do the system. Just uh, just wanted to pass it on for fellow at home DIYers like myself and you to uh, be careful of that. that uh, that's tight in there and it can grab your hose and if it falls in you got no choice but to take it out and basically just shake it till the thing falls out or you can possibly replace it worst case I was lucky it fell out. But I'm going to go ahead and get that installed and we'll move on to the next step. Alright, now that uh, catastrophe has been uh, adverted, let's go on to getting these uh, brakes bled and cleaned out. So I'm dying to try out these uh, new Brembo's I put on here. I apologize for the uh, nighttime stuff, but uh, you know. Dog got sick, had to run her to the vet. So that's life. But I need to get my car back on the road and I want to do this video. So, um, anyways, we'll get. I got this from um, Summit Racing. It's about fifty, sixty dollars or so. And there's all different kinds of adapters uh, out there for these two. If this doesn't happen to work for yours, but uh, we're gonna bring this up here to fifteen psi. There we are, good 15 pounds. Alright, so we always start at the brake uh, farthest away from the master cylinder, which would be the passenger side rear for me on this car. I'm going to just crack this open and let it do its thing. I'm going to be watching for this uh, brake fluid here to change color. Let me know that the uh, new stuff has made it through. And this is probably take. Oh, there we go. There we got some air. A whole lot of air. Which doesn't surprise me having because we took off that uh, master cylinder. Alright, I think we're looking pretty good here. Uh, this fluid coming out of the line is looking pretty clear. And I'm not getting uh, any more bubbles. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, cinch this up. Well, let's move on to the front. No sense in showing you the twice. It's showing you the fr uh, rear twice. Now we'll move on to the front. And because of the performance braking system I have on here, uh, I happen to have two sets of... Uh, nipples on here that I have to bleed and I need to find somewhere to hang this bottle. So 
I should have thought that through first. There we go. Here's my light. All right, so on uh, if you're just normally doing your brakes, you would just open up your uh, bleeding nipples normal and just bleed them. If you have uh, these dual-sided Brembo's, you're going to do the inside first. And I really shouldn't have much in the way of dirty fluid come out here because it pretty much all leaked out during the caliper change. That looks nice. Look at all that dirty, nasty old fluid. I'll tell you what. These uh, pressure bleeders are really the way to go. I mean, this is uh, fantastic. No sitting here telling somebody to pump, hold it, pump, hold it. And just do like this. Look at that, let the air out. And uh, just catch it here in this bottle. I mean, look at that, that's fantastic. Let's see. You can see how much brake fluid we're catching. I'm just kind of going out of abundance of caution here to make sure I get everything out. Well, that's it, YouTube. Um, be the same thing on the other side and uh, that'll complete your brake bleed just before you drive the car pump your brakes do not get in your car and go uh, your brake pedal is going to drop right to the ground uh, go ahead and pump them up before you do anything and uh, just you know make sure you got a good open spot be safe before you drive off and uh, just go at slow speed and give your brakes a couple of uh, taps to make sure that everything's working before you go hit the highway. Anyways, I hope uh, you found this informative and this helped you out. Likes, shares, and the comments definitely appreciate it. Please subscribe. Got more videos coming up on how to on cars and just more stuff in general about some of the cars I got and life in general, things like that. So, appreciate you watching. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.